Incredible. This is a drug trip dream. Fire is jealous, Chloe. If you had pot, I would have said itself. that your uh, pot was laced. That's why you need to be careful. Of course, the creepy careful voice. Of what? Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Your face is gonna be fucked. Of getting burned. Ugh. Okay, that wasn't nearly as bad as it could have been. It could he could have went full two face. To live is to love marshmallows. Heck yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys it's registering on the, the dongle cam, but mama's doing all feet kicks. Not the acid trip slip. <laughs> Rachel? Hello. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. So, are you going to invite me in? Or what? Of course. I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, hi, boo. Oh, you already packed up. Sick wheels, huh? Door just g -g -g falls off. You've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A cool blue light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. Always thinking ahead. <laughs> Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Uh, I hope. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. Holy shit, that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. Yeah, and he was just looking for reasons for expelling Blackwell's for a while. Wells. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one he wanted to believe. Yep. <laughs> At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Uh, I'm gonna say us. Last I checked, you're the one who went all puff the manic dragon on that tree last night. What were you thinking? No! I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go woo. That's not like, what on, I was thinking it meant. Sound way cooler than accessory after the fact. Mm. Is that the official Arcadia Bay DA's opinion? Accomplice it is. I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. <clears throat> he announced his plans to move in this morning. Man. Oh. <clears throat> Chloe, that's awful. I thought it, so the us question was you know what we gonna talk about us, Therapy. not saying it was your fault. Damn it. Therapy. I messed it up. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Wow. 
well, Doc. I like her one earring. That's cool. Uh, Blackwell. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean, how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? <laughs> you tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. Mm, David. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating Dildo with a mustache. <sighs> Guys, look at Mama's foot. In with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. You see that? I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. He's a kicking. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you, you got don't to fight sleep back. kicks. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Step douche, step dick, or step fuck. She calls him step douche in the other one, right? He's, uh, step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, <laughs> he's a douche. <laughs> Poetic. That's funny. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because. He climbs on your mom every night. Oh! And pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Shock therapy? Controversial. Your turn. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. Oh it no. Sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just. Ugh, I don't know. It's okay, girlfriend. I got you. Here's a shoulder to lean on. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Bubblegum. Cake. Hey, everybody loves cake. Cakes have layers. Uh, let's talk about the truck. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. You found pictures That's of the holy fire. Ass. You should post them on Discord. Do you think Buffets have layers? <laughs> nice, Ragger. Acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore. You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. Parfaits maybe is the I most delicious thing on this whole damn planet. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like. Everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Just be aware. Uh, you're not like him. You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit, it's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Good luck. Oh, we can't escape now. You she has to leave to, to go to the play. Actor, good luck before a show. It's bad luck. Oh yeah. How is telling someone good luck bad luck? Let's break a leg. You're supposed to say break a leg. That's dumb. And the only reason I know that hey, is from the producers, which is a great movie. If you've never seen it, go see it. The show. Maybe we could go do something. It's hilarious. Just you and me. Something criminal. <clears throat> Criminally fun. <laughs> my blue blanket! My blanket! You give me my blue blanket! 
Wait, you forgot can't do that dad. with headphones on. It's for you. Just a little Everyone go watch the producers. It's hysterical. Land. Drive safe, Chloe. He's having his stroke. He's stroke of genius. Love that movie. I'm gonna go watch that movie. If I have time, I'm watching it tonight. If not, I'm watching it this weekend. Hi, yeah, yeah. yeah, let's make a little fort. My radio's still playing. Hello, Junk Shack. Welcome back, Sater listeners. A quick traffic update for you. An accident on I-5 is causing some pretty gnarly backups. So if you're planning on heading north out of Portland, uh, maybe don't. Well, I guess we're not going to Seattle, because that's Time north. To check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Sign. Sure, let's prop it up. Wrong way. How cool would it be if you played this game first and made all these changes into the real game if it used the same assets and stuff in their placement in the first game? How cool would that be? <sighs> Cutting edge in junkyard security technology. No, I just need a photo of David. Mm. Tapestry? Heck yeah. That would have made a better seat cover than our towel. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules. Alright, who messaged us? Mikey, yeah! Join me, dear D&D night. Steph says you're a nerd. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Uh, Ack, I heard you got expelled. Sorry. Yeah, I rolled the ones against Wells. Nice. Get it? Steph says you're a nerd. <laughs> I like those guys. Alright, guess we gotta invade her privacy. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. On. On? <laughs> Try on. An abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Oh, sick, yeah. Guys, oh my gosh. I can change my clothes. Isn't that the same one I'm wearing? Why is it black? Oh yeah, it, it's gotta be because <laughs> she's just hitting here dancing. Um, raven hair. Ooh, beanie. It's not clean. Nah, look a little too much like Rachel. Which, I guess it is our close. Tarot Tower. Fire Department is urging listeners to stay off the roads as much as possible due to smoke and ash from the nearby fire. So I finally have an excuse to sit inside all day and play video games. Eh, sit inside and play video games. Nice. Nope. Don't like that outfit. Gotta stretch out. Whoa. 
All right. Rorash. Skull. Rorschach. There you go. Rorash. Yeah. Ooh, I'm liking that get up. All right, that one's all right. I kind of still dig her first outfit. Let's see if actually these shirts change at all. Actually, they don't, because we already proved that with the bird skull. She looks a little punk rock. All right, we're going back to the original. Because that was sweet. I like this shirt. It's super cool. And also, I'm kind of attached to her in this outfit now. <laughs> it's what I associate as Chloe. We need to clean that beanie, though. Alright, we're good. I'm trying not to tell myself that she hasn't changed clothes in two or three days. I'm at the junkyard now. All right, wall. Graffiti it up. I just got an achievement, and I oh, it's because I I didn't even get to choose what to do. Nice. It's important to mark my territory for all future <coughs> Chuck Shack visitors. I'll keep that on. Frank! Oh, Frank! You can get mad for me riding on his thing. Whoa! <gasps> That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. That lady is everywhere, guys. That's weird. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Price, get your ass in here. When did he get his doggo? Like every time I get one of these loading screens, I'm like, I should just run upstairs and get a drink. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? What the what? Ah! God, jeez, man. Get my notebook. This is not price. creepy at all. Then we'll talk. No, this I'm is creepy. Things for Frank. How low can I go? This is creepy. Alright, we got a new... Ever been to therapy? It's actually kind of awesome. And I don't mean writing down your feelings and hugging and crying and shit. I'm talking about popping open the hood and getting under... Or getting your hands dirty. Rachel's awesome at it. Because of course she is. We talked about my mom, David, my expulsion. Rachel didn't want to talk as much, but I got her to open up. I'm glad I did. By the end, everything I don't know seemed a little less broken, I guess. Speaking of, I found this gnarly truck that I started fixing up. Who knows if I'll ever get to it, get it running. But for now, I'm glad to just have a problem I might actually be able to solve. And maybe an escape vehicle? Stay tuned. Fixing trucks and fixing brains. Who needs school anyway? Chloe, the less broken fixer. All right, Justin. Dude, I heard you got expelled. Bad news. You mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. If you ever want to blaze with me and Trev, let me know. Thanks. We got a hat. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? 
a betting slip. $1,200? Way out of my league.